Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Breaking news. According to Newsweek, Russia's Navy chief has said that their submarines are in position and they are armed and tipped with nuclear uh, tips on their missiles. That puts the rest of the world on edge as P Vladimir Putin has clearly set the stage. He's not playing games. He's letting NATO know that Russia is ready to use nuclear weapons in this war. Uh, the situation, of course, is constantly getting worse when it comes to the situation in Ukraine. Uh, NATO also uh, threatening to give weapons to uh, Zelensky to be able to use on targets deeper inside of Russia. Russia knows that the West uh, is the only one that can operate those weapons, and so now they've put their their uh, their machinery in power in place and are ready to go. So the acting commander in chief, Admiral Alexander Moiseev, presided over a ceremony Wednesday at headquarters of the Russian Pacific Fleet's nuclear submarines in Valashensk on the uh, Kamachka Peninsula. During the event, Moiseev. Uh, Mosiev awarded the 25th Submarine Division the Order of Nakhimov as directed by President Vladimir Putin in May in recognition of their importance to the country's defense. Russia State News Agency, RIA Novosti, reported on Thursday. So, situation clearly uh, taking a, a turn for the worse there as uh, we near our elections here in the United States. According to Reuters, Iran's supreme leader says Israel is committing shameless crimes against children. That's uh, the Khomeini of Iran who's making that statement there before a delegation there said that the uh, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini said Saturday that Israel is committing shameless crimes against children, not combatants. His comments came a day after Israeli airstrikes on the Lebanese capital of Beirut killed at least 31 people, including three children and seven women, according to the Lebanese health ministry. Friday's strike, which according to sources targeted the building next to the nursery, was the deadliest in the year's conflict between Israel and the Iranian-backed Lebanese Hezbollah militia there. And, you know, listen, the man is not making mistakes in what he says there. This is disturbing. Of course, the image is not graphic. It's still disturbing, though, of a girl in Gaza. This just came out four hours ago there. This little girl here in Gaza, uh, this here uh, where this little Palestinian girl is trapped underneath the rock there. You know, we don't know the, the, what her condition is. She says, please, uncle. Um, she's begging for help with this massive, uh, you know, concrete on top of her here. She's stuck. She's pinned. You know, you can't call this crisis acting. My leg hurts. I'm sure it hurts with all this, you know, on top of her there. And of course, they're trying to rescue this young lady out of there uh, to get her out of the, out of this rubble here. You know. Thank God she survived this, but so many children, thousands and thousands and thousands of children in uh, Gaza have not survived these horrible incidences there. Let me just show you here, as that camera did show that there, that's rebar in the concrete that's got this child pinned down. Rebar. Yeah, you see some of the sheetrock that was attached to the roof of the house, but the concrete roof of that house pin this child to the floor. And Israel continues to genocide the innocents when they claim that they have the ability to do pinpoint accuracy. Candace Owen was right when she challenged Jonathan on uh, uh, Piers Morgan's program the other day. This is a genocide, and it's got to stop. And if you support it as a Christian, then you've negated the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the least I can say on this matter. I'm Stephen Benoon. By the way, please take a look uh, over on our Patreon channel there, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. New evidence is Planet X closing in. Uh, I really go into a very comprehensive report. I actually loaded this last night. I just did not like the way I did it. I was under such a rush 
when I did it and, and it just really bothered me. I went back this morning, I redid this video, very in depth, uh, very good information there. And I think you're gonna find it very interesting. Even looking at what Mr. Ferrada, the astronomer, the Chilean astronomer said about those earthquakes that were going to strike on this earth as this system nears, showing the evidence of those areas actually being loosened up as we speak here, even now, in the last year, they've already been loosening up as that comes, showing you what Jesus had to say in Matthew 24, looking at the Hebrew Matthew, which may indicate a very triangulation of those earthquakes there. Even as I look at this right now, Jesus using the Hebrew Matthew, the word, the rush of uh, uh, the word uh, using the word head of the earthquakes. Could he actually be talking about the head, the very top of that triangulation there in between Spain and France? Just last year, a 4.0 hit that very area there. We go into all that information. You're going to find it, I'm sure, very interesting. And also, don't forget, support the broadcast, Israeli News Live. Uh, we greatly appreciate your support there. We are continually now putting out more and more posts on there. Yana just wrote an article, Open Letter to the Five Docs. Uh, you know, also her, her article a little while back, The Threat of the Newly Formed Right-Winged Israeli Government and a Warning to Christians. Amazing work that she's doing there. Actually, uh, this one here we did together there. Uh, you'll find that a very interesting insight. And also uh, checking out LifeWave, EMP Shield. You definitely may need an EMP Shield. Things that are coming up after you see this Planet X uh, broadcast there. You may wish you had an EMP shield as well. But you can get all that through our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. And thank you for your support. You can donate online to help keep this ministry moving along. Listen, we really sincerely need your support. Your support is what makes this happen. Uh, you know, so please consider donating online. Support Patreon. That's another easy way. You know, you could go in there, say, for $5 a month. Uh, and support there, and you're helping in an amazing way there. So we are constantly putting out new content on Patreon now. I'm trying to keep to that promise I made you that I would do, and very informative information. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live.